Namo Buddhaya. Welcome to yet another episode in Inner Guide Q&A program. Now I need to ask a question from you. When was the last time you had a sound sleep and after you wake up, you felt so good? I think most of the time we don't get a good sleep and that is why we are feeling tired after a good sleep even. So today we're going to talk about how to wake up in the morning without feeling tired. Now remember, the quality of your wake up is highly dependent on how you sleep, the quality of your sleep. So first of all, let's talk about how to have a better sleep. Our great teacher, Supreme Buddha, taught us that if you can practice the love and the kindness throughout your life, in your heart, practically, you will sleep better, right? So it says that it is so important to maintain a kind and a calm and a peaceful heart to have a better sleep. So your sleep is highly affected by several things. It depends on what you do during the day and it depends on how you approach the bed, your sleeping posture and also it depends on what you do after you wake up. So we are going to talk about these things. So let's talk about how the things happen during the day affects our sleep. Now if you spend most of the time in the day by being angry with people, by being jealous of others, by uh, fighting with others and being sad and frustrated, then your mentality is not in a good condition. And then when you go to the bed, you will never have a peaceful sleep because your mind and your body is not ready for that and it hasn't become peaceful. So it is so important to have, to maintain a peaceful and a calm mind during the day, right? Of course, we cannot control the situations that we face during the day. We cannot control pe people complaining us, criticizing us, bullying us. We cannot control these things, but we can control our response to them, right? So we, by our own self, make the choice to be angry, to be jealous, to be frustrated, to blame. So what you have to do, you need to maintain and you need to try as much as possible to be kind and to be friendly with people, right? And to help others, to do the good things which makes you happy within. So if you can maintain a peaceful heart and peaceful mind during the day, even, the, even in the middle of the adversities and the problems, then no one can control and no one can destroy your peacefulness. So when you approach the bed and when you go to the sleep, you're going with a kind and a peaceful heart. So your sleep quality will be increased. And also the sleep is highly dependent on how you approach the bed, right? So in brief, I must say, approach the bed with a clean body and a clean mind, right? So how we approach the bed with a clean body? Refresh your body before you are going to sleep. Don't go to sleep with dust-filled bodies and sweat-filled bodies, right? You can have a little bit of a shower. If it was a, a cold shower, it is much better. But if you cannot have a cold shower, if you are not in a condition of having a cold shower, then have a lukewarm shower, right? Then you go to the bed. And when you go to the bed, it is much more important to clean your mind. 
So how to do that? And that's where the meditation comes in, right? You can bring in a meditation before you sleep. So it is so easy to practice a session or five minute session of uh, loving kindness meditation, right? You can spread the love and kindness towards yourself first. And you can spread the same love and kindness to your family members, to your neighbors, to your uh, people around your village, maybe the people in your town. And you can spread the love and kindness to the whole world. When you spread the thoughts and when you generate these thoughts within your mind, your mind gets so peaceful and it will become so serene. So bring in a loving kindness meditation to before you sleep, right? And then you can go to the sleep with a clean body and a clean mind. And also the quality of your sleep is highly dependent on your sleeping posture, right? Most of the people, they sleep on their stomach. They sleep facing down, but that is not a good posture to sleep. Our great teacher, Supreme Buddha, slept and he had his sleep on the right side, to the right side. You can sleep to the right side and that posture is called Singhaseya, the lion's posture, the, which was used by our great teacher, Supreme Buddha, throughout, throughout his whole life. So if you can try that posture, that is one of the best postures to sleep and also you can sleep to the left side right so these postures will increase your quality of the sleep right so these things affects your sleep in many ways and you know, it makes a huge impact and then let's talk about what we should do after we wake up now i need to share with you some tips uh, which you can practice soon after you wake up, right? So first of all, do not do this. Do not hit the snooze button. Now many of you hit the snooze button and you go back to the sleep. Remember, when you hit the snooze button and when you go to this, when you go sleep, go to the sleep again, that sleep is not a perfect sleep, right? And that is why you're feeling tired after you wake up. So what you have to do, don't hit the snooze button, wake up and get down from the bed soon after you wake up, right? So you can keep your alarm clock, maybe your mobile phone, you can set the alarm and you can keep that thing across your room in a distance where you should walk to the alarm clock and stop it. So it will help you to uh, get down from the bed. So that is one tip. And the next one is drink some water soon after you wake up. You can keep a glass of water near your alarm clock. Then you can stop the alarm and have a drink of water. right? And then it's better to have a little bit of a shower in the morning. If it is a cold shower, it is much better. But it, you, if you cannot have a cold shower, then go for a lukewarm shower and you will feel so refreshed in the morning. And after that, do some exercises, have some stretches on your body, then you're good to go, right? So these things, if you can do these things as soon after you wake up, it will keep up the refreshness that you feel in the morning throughout the day. So that is how we have a peaceful wake up early in the morning and feel refreshed. So I hope you enjoy this video and I wish you all, may all of you be well and happy and may all of you live long and may all of you realize the Four Noble Truth in this Gautam Buddha's dispensation. Namo Buddhaya Thiruvansaranaya.